Okay, so on three, we're trying to use Leibniz rule to find the sixth derivative uh, of x squared sine x. Already? Okay, well, let's do it. So uh, Leibniz rule says uh, the sixth derivative of this guy uh, we just proved it up here yeah the zero derivative of the first one which means the first one is is times the sixth derivative I'll do it here as you're doing it there times the sixth derivative of the second sine x And this whole thing is divided by zero factorial. So if I put this equal sign here, all over zero factorial, which is one. Zero factorial is one. Let me bring this down a little bit here. OK, plus. Now, uh, the zero derivative goes up by 1. So, uh, so instead of the zero derivative of x squared, we have the first derivative of x squared. Uh, we bring the 6 down. And then the fifth derivative uh, of sine x over 1 factorial, which is 1 also. Okay, uh, so the derivative of x squared is going up by 1, so now this is the second derivative of x squared. We were on the zero derivative, then the first derivative, then the second derivative. And then, uh, we all, and then the, the, the second part goes down by 1, so now we're on the th fourth derivative of sine x. And uh, we bring the 5 down, and originally there was a 6 here, so 6 times 5. And this whole thing is divided by 2 factorial. So that's the third term. Okay, no more room. I'll continue here. So plus. So now uh, 6 times 5. Now it's the third derivative of x squared times uh, the, so this derivative goes down by 1, so now it's the third derivative of sine x, and the 3 goes down here, multiplies the whole thing, so sine x, right? And this whole thing is divided by 3 factorial, plus, okay, now here I can stop. Why, that, why can I stop? Because the third derivative of x squared is 0, because the first derivative is 2x, the second derivative is 2, the third derivative is 0, and everything else, so the rest of the terms will just be zeros. Everything from here on, so this guy will be 0, and everything from here down will be 0. So only the first three terms survive. So that's the logic. Okay, that's enough hint, Ben. So, uh, Well, no, there's, th there's three different terms in here. It will, it will be that plus the third derivative. So the first one is x squared. And then the sixth derivative, this guy here is 1, 0 factorial. Uh, the sixth derivative of sine. So sine, the first derivative brings you down to cosine, then minus sine. Then minus cosine. Then minus cosine, then sine then cosine. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, one more, uh, minus sine. So the sixth derivative will be minus sine. So uh, this guy here will be times minus sine x. And uh, plus uh, 6 uh, times 2x. 
and uh, the fifth derivative of sine will be cosine. And then one more term, uh, 6 times 5 is 30. So, let me move it here. So, I can flip the last one there. So, plus 30. And then I have uh, <coughs> a second derivative of x squared is 2. And the fourth derivative of sine is sine over 2 factorial, meaning over 2. So this goes with, away with this. And then the final answer will be minus x squared sine x plus 12x cosine x plus 30 sine x. This should be the final answer. Uh, attempted one. Is that what you got? Um, I think it's just, it shows the way it, at the first three terms, uh, 